Hello everybody, welcome back to Monarch Mom DIY. Today is my last fall decor DIY video of this year. I'm excited to bring you these last three decor DIYs. I hope you enjoy them and we'll give this video a big thumbs up. Our first DIY is using a cutting board, a wood cutting board I got at a yard sale for $2. This window cling from Dollar General and some chalk paint and Mod Podge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm really loving these greens this fall. If you've seen any of my DIYs, um, celery and moss are the two colors. The first thing I'm going to do is give this wooden cutting board a good coat of celery all over. And if you see that little imprinted logo down there, I just covered it up with the chalk paint and I wasn't even able to see it anymore. So one thing, when you are painting wood, you want to go ahead and paint with the grain of the wood. Here I'm taking four clamps from the Dollar Tree and just putting them under the cutting board to raise it up a little bit. This way I will be able to paint all around the sides as well without painting my table. I was really excited to use these two greens because I thought they matched the um, image on the window cling. I'm taking the moss color right now and I'm just going around very carefully and painting that edge that goes all the way around the circular cutting board. I felt like this kind of gave the cutting board a frame so that it looked more like a picture and not just a wooden cutting board. Next, I'm taking a layer of the matte finish Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree and giving the inner circle of my cutting board a good layer of this so that my window cling will stick down. Sorry about my shoulder being in the shot there for a couple seconds. I took my time smoothing this out, um, trying to get any air bubbles out. It really wasn't that difficult because this is a little heavier than paper. Um, and then I just grabbed something, a little post-it notepad happened to be nearby, and I'm using this like a squeegee to kind of push out any extra Mod Podge and then wipe it off with a paper towel. At this point in the project, I was getting very excited because I just loved how the colors of the image went with the two greens of the cutting board. Once that was dry and had sat overnight, I did do another layer of the Mod Podge over the top, um, mostly just to make it uniform, and then also did um, around the darker green as well so that the entire um, cutting board had the same finish. And here's what it looked like once everything was completely dry. I absolutely love this. I made it for $3 and it's awesome. Our next project, I'm using three different 
pumpkins and this metal tin bucket with the jute twine around it and some chalk paint for this next topiary. I've always wanted to make a pumpkin topiary and finally getting around to it. So what I'm first going to do is take this foam pumpkin. You guys have seen these at Dollar Tree. And then um, I think the one on the left is also from Dollar Tree. The one in the middle I found at a thrift store. I just wanted three different sizes so they could stack easily. I decided I wanted to go with neutral colors for my topiary and then add some color in with some fall leaves. So I'm using um, ivory, mineral, and elephant for my three pumpkins. I'm first painting this bigger foam pumpkin with the cream color that's called ivory. The next pumpkin is going to be painted in the light gray color mineral. It did take me, I would say, two coats on each of these pumpkins just to really cover up the design and color underneath. And my smallest top pumpkin will be the dark gray color elephant. I decided while the pumpkins were drying that this bucket was too shiny for what I wanted. So I'm taking more of that elephant chalk paint and I'm going to use a makeup sponge to just dab on the paint to give it more of a galvanized look and not so shiny. At this point, I decided to go ahead and pull out some letter stickers I had on hand and just put the word pumpkins on the bucket. I decided to take a bamboo skewer and push it through my bottom pumpkin into the middle pumpkin. And I also did secure it with some glue. I decided not to glue the bottom pumpkin into the bucket. It fit well enough that I could just kind of wedge it in there. And then if I decide to change this out later, I don't have to worry about it being stuck in. So then I glued the third pumpkin on top and I'm going to start adding in some color now with some of my Dollar Tree fall leaves. And also you'll see I did reuse the 
stem from the smallest pumpkin. I thought it was cute with some raffia and a little bit of coiled wire. I've said it before, but this is one of my favorite parts of doing DIYs, is just kind of going for it, just starting to add things. Um, like here, I'm just adding leaves. Some people I've seen have used the floral moss. Um, because my topiary pumpkins were so neutral, I really wanted to add some color around, but I don't have leaves going all the way around every single pumpkin. Just here and there, whatever I thought looked good. And here's what my completed topiary looks like. I'd love to know what you think of it and if you've made a topiary with pumpkins yourself. My last DIY is just going to be pictures because it's so simple. I was lucky enough to find a set of the thankful letters at Target's dollar spot. I had this piece of wood that actually, if you remember my 4th of July flag um, that says welcome, I'm just using the back of it. I painted it with truffle and then I'm painting these rather large wooden letters with an orange acrylic paint. I thought these were a great deal for $3 for eight letters um, and they spelled exactly what I wanted them to spell. So I just painted those with the orange and then they fit perfectly to hot glue them down this brown piece of wood. I might add um, a couple fall flowers, but otherwise I love how simple it is. Well, that's it for my fall decor DIYs this year. I hope you guys have enjoyed them. I'd love to know which one of these three are your favorite. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so. I am super excited to get started with some Christmas decor DIYs to get you ready for the holidays. See you next time.